Hey everyone, it's Dark Knight Admin. Today we're going to talk about muting permissions on permission set groups. All right, with muting permissions, they're only tied to the permission set group. So when you create a permission set group, you can add a muting permission to it. Mute permissions allow you to mute or remove permissions from a permission set group. So it's something that we can only do within that permission set group. The way this works, overall, a profile permission sets. We have a profile, we have our permission sets, and we have permission set groups, and that equals our total access within uh, for that particular user. So the profile is pretty standard. Permission sets and permission set groups are how we add additional properties and permissions to that particular user. Within this permission set group, we can have mute permissions that allow us to remove access within that group. So we have a permission set group here. We've added two, two to three permission sets in this particular group. If we add a mute permission, it allows us to negate particular attributes within that permission set. So let's say in permission set one, two, and three, we gave delete access to accounts. And then in mute permission, we said, no, you can't have delete access. It removes it from the, those permission sets with group. So it's a combined overall view of the whole entire permission set group. And then it analyzes what the permission sets do, and then it negates whatever the access you gain with those permission sets with the mute permissions and the, the mute permission takes away access within this group just a reminder this applies only to the group it doesn't apply to the overall view of the uh, for the for the user before we move on please like and subscribe i try to produce sales tips every week so please give that a, a thumbs up and subscribe so you can get my content every week so let's do a quick review of the uh, profiles and permissions so we have a user record here. We have our profile, which gives us a base uh, permissions. We have permission sets, and we can have multiple permission sets tied to that particular user. And we have permission set groups. So within that permission set group, we have multiple permission sets that could be tied to that group. Then we have our mute. And as you see here, that mute permission is only applied to that particular group. It's not the overall access. So whatever my profile access I have, whatever my permission sets outside of my profile access I have, and then whatever my permission set group dictates is what I have equals my total access. So that mute, like I said, only applies to that group. It doesn't apply to the whole entire user. It's only here. So if I get delete access here for account, but I negate in this permission set group, I still have delete access for accounts I, as a user. It only negates it within that particular group. Here's just kind of quick how you can make one up here. So I created this group called Robin Group because, you know, Batman needs to let uh, Robin have some access to some of his tools. So we have uh, the, we created some permissions that's called the bat credit card, the battering, and the, the utility belt. There's different attributes in all these permission set groups that grant access to certain different things. Maybe with the battering, you only get the basic battering, they don't get all of them. So what we can do is maybe the, we have our permission sets here that grant all access, but then within this particular group, we can create a mute permission that removes particular permissions. So we can say, take away part of the access for the battering, maybe they only get the basic model, but more advanced ones, Robin doesn't get access to. The utility belt, maybe he only gets the grappling hook, but he doesn't get some of the smoke bombs, things of that nature. So just a quick way uh, to see that you can create permissions to group, you can add permissions to that, you can do their mute permission for it, and then it doesn't apply to their whole overall user. So this is just how it applies in here. But should you use them, definitely use them especially if you're using this group uh, concept with the changes that are coming in down the line with how everything moving to permission sets. I totally see permission set groups as being something that's going to be utilized a lot. That way you don't know, you can manage groups instead of having to manage a ton of different types of permission sets. Thanks for coming and I'll see you next time.